course, it's, it's always uh, very happy to visit Mongolia because uh, Mongolia is a country uh, that the Buddhist teaching been for many years, and uh, we have a very special uh, connections with the Tibet, and especially with our order. So therefore, it is very uh, great joy for me to visit your country. Sajja Trinzen Rinpoche, who is head of the Sajja Order of Tibetan Buddhism, holy feet have stepped on the land of Mongolia. When Chinggis Khan was 45 years old, in a red tiger year of the lunar year calendar, and was ordering his mighty army of Tengus, he had sent a letter and valuable offerings to the third Sajja Trinzen, Sanshin Dakpal Jaltsen. He wrote in his letter, As I have not completed my political missions yet, as soon as I complete them, I will invite your holiness and spread the Buddha Dharma in Mongolia. This was the first historical connection between Sajya tradition and Mongolians. Later, the King Godan, who was the third son of Ugude, invited Sajya Pandita Kunga Jaltsen in Mongolia and received the Dharma teachings. This was the spread of Buddhism in Mongolia. My first time visit was in 1995 at the invitation of late uh, Gusho Bagula Rinpoche, who was then uh, Indian ambassador here. And he uh, felt that it is very important uh, as we have a very close uh, ties between the Mongolia and the Sakya order. And so it, he says it's very important to revive that uh, connection. So he invited me, so I came here and I had the opportunity to visit the monasteries and also meet the, the people. And since then we've been able to revive the, the relationship and uh, uh, some of the Mongolian monks came to India to study in our monastery and some of our monks also come here and establish uh, monasteries here. So in this way it was a very significant beginning of reviving the historical uh, uh, the relationship. His Holiness, Sajya Trinzin Rinpoche, visited Gandan Monastery at the Mongolian Buddhist Center. The next day he arrived in Mongolia. His Holiness gave oral transmissions and consecrations to the Manjushri and Sajya Bandita prayer to huge gatherings of people who were expecting his blessing there. In 1260, Kublai Khan invited Bagba Lama, who was the fifth Sajja Trinzen of the Sajja tradition, in Mongolia, and conferred him as the state guru. This was how Buddhism became a state religion of the Mongolian Empire. And this day, His Holiness visited Kunchap Jambaling Center and bestowed Tara initiations, blessings, and the essence of the Guru Sakyamuni Buddha's teachings. Almost all of Mongolians know about Sakya Pandita Kunga Tsyaltsen's text titled Sobashidi very well. So people were asking questions related to this particular text. Sakya Pandita Kunga Tsyaltsen is, of course, the greatest, uh, one of the greatest. Uh, not only scholar, but also a very highly realized. Mm -hmm. He is the true emanation of Manjushri, mm -hmm. and he is respected in uh, 
uh, all the different schools of uh, Tibetan Buddhism. Mm -hmm. And his works are very famous, in particular, as you said, the uh, Subhashi, because it is a uh, uh, teaching that is in the form of uh, um, for the worldly advice, in the form of worldly advice that leads to the uh, the Dharma path. So it is very very important, and it is easy to understand, mm -hmm. and yet it has a very great uh, and valuable teachings. Mm -hmm. That how because we have to start when we enter the Dharma path, we have to start from the basic level. And so first of all, we have to be a good man, the honest man, and the truthful. Mm -hmm. And that you, you learn from the Subhash, and you become a good person. And then from there, you start the, the Dharma path. So today, Mongolians are greatly rejoicing Sajya Trinzen Rinpoche's visit to Mongolia and regarding this event as a great contribution towards both Dharma education of its people and the revival of Buddhism in this very country. His Holiness gave preparation of Hevajra Empowerment, which is the highest meditational deity for the Sajya order to both Sangha and lay community at the Petup Monastery. The next day, His Holiness gave the Hevajra Empowerment. All people gathered at the Petup Monastery were listening to his teachings with great devotion. Even though it was a very hot day with a strong sun, people were so patient for the sake of receiving each and every word of the teaching and taking notes. First time we met in Tibet itself, very, very long time ago. And then uh, after I came to India, uh, my, when I first visited uh, New Delhi, uh, there was a Ladakh Bodhbihara uh, where I met Kusho Bagula. And I, in fact, I stayed there for some time. And then also he came to our uh, place many times. And I also visited Ladakh. In fact, his own monasteries, the, the Sankar and Pithu monasteries. And uh, so we have a very uh, close uh, uh, connection. And the Pithu monastery in, in Ulaanbaatar, you know, also I feel it is a very important place, very important role, because it is the monastery that can set a example of how uh, good discipline uh, monastery should be. Sajja Trinzen means a throne holder of the Sajja. His Holiness is the 41st throne holder of Sajja, and that is one of the four major traditions of Tibetan Buddhism, and born into the Hong family, which is believed to have celestial origin. His Holiness was being part in an anniversary ceremony for the 10th year of the establishment of Petup Monastery of Bakula Rinpoche. Oh, 
Today is also a very special day of the lunar calendar. It was on this day that Lord Buddha gave his first sermon at Varanasi. It is indeed a happy coincidence that we are observing this special occasion on this very holy day. Mr. Bold, who is Mongolian president, Elbeg Dorj, advisor for religious affairs, was also there to congratulate on this anniversary and Sadia Trinzin Rinpoche's visit. There was held a concert dedicated to this anniversary. Many well-known Mongolian artists, singers, and dancers presented their show. And this time, uh, since the 1995 until now, there's a great improvement in many ways uh, at outer uh, level the, in terms of uh, everything. But also I feel that the inner spiritually uh, also, I think now people are much more aware and uh, uh, more uh, knowledgeable about uh, the Buddhism. The following day, His Holiness bestowed long life empowerment and Dharma teachings to the mass of people gathered in the wrestling palace. Rinpoche said there were three basic practices in Mahayana Buddhism. Those are loving kindness, compassion, and bodhicitta mind. Loving kindness is the wish for true happiness for all sentient beings in the six realms while compassion is mind of wishing for liberating all sentient beings. Bodhicitta is mind of wishing to achieve the state of perfect enlightenment for the sake of all sentient beings. Thus, developing these three are the most important practices of Mahayana Buddhism. His Holiness was giving this teaching in very simple words so that everyone could understand. The next day, His Holiness visited the Sajya Pandita Dharma Chakra Monastery and gave oral transmission of the special teachings on three vows. We already have the, the foundations are already laid here and uh, our the Mongolian monk, the Othon Batal, who was graduated at the Sakya College in India. He's a very good man, and, and he's uh, working here along with another Tibetan man. 
and, um, uh, and so together with the, with the together with the help of the the Mongolian uh, friends, Dharma friends, that we hope that we'll be able to to start the monastery here, and we are also hoping that it can set a good example to the people of Mongolia, uh, so that we can pay some kind of uh, uh, some contributions to the people of Mongolian uh, spiritual uh, life. His Holiness was lodging at the Marshall Palace of the Inketeger State Complex. We started our trip to Darhan City at dawn. His Holiness gave an empowerment of Jumbu Dorje that is a form of Vajrapani at the Narokajot Monastery of Darhan in the morning and long life empowerment to the lay community at the Youth Palace in the afternoon. His Holiness was working tirelessly for the sake of benefiting the people of Mongolia. It was really obvious that the Rinpoche arrived in our country from such a faraway distance just for the sake of sentient beings. According to Tantra teachings, Guru is the basis of all sijas or realizations, and therefore Darhan people were wholeheartedly praying to Rinpoche as they were wishing long life and merit accumulation. The essence of Buddhism is uh, non-violence, non-violence and uh, uh, the wisdom combined with the wisdom, wisdom of to, uh, to realize the, the truth. As soon as coming back to Lam Batar on the following day, Rinpoche visited the Tashi Choiling Monastery and bestowed the long life empowerment of Tantan Jalpo. After Tashi Choiling Monastery visit, His Holiness gave teachings at the FPMT Mongolia Center. During this teaching, Rinpoche answered as, There is no such an entity called self or I, but there is mind stream. The very conception of I is nothing but simply delusions due to repeated habits of holding it as its true existence. At the time of death, your body will stop, but your mind will continue. The mind stream is just like a mala, a chanting rosary. Then what is mind after all? It has many aspects, 
that there is an aspect that is a base for all others. We call it a self-illuminating aspect to question of is it true that even though we have eternal so, there is no I. Likely, His Holiness was explaining deep meanings of the Dharma teachings in very simple words. So therefore, everyone was happy for one's newly acquired understanding. Mr. Inkbayar, who is a former president of Mongolia, invited His Holiness and organized a mini Nadam, that is the Mongolian traditional holiday, for His Holiness dignity. All people were enjoying Mongolian folk songs and dances performed by artists from the state theater for national song and dance, wrestling, archery, and horse racing together. His Holiness Holy Mind was also joyful about the event. So through this, uh, I take the opportunity to extend my very warm greetings and best wishes to all the people of Mongolia. And I uh, advise that it, uh, it is very important to live a very happy life and beneficial life. And that is, first we have to be a good person, person with honest, truthful, and uh, tolerance, and uh, in our everyday life, we should be cooperated with the, the love and the compassion, which is the essence of the, uh, the Buddha's teachings. And as Buddhism is a historical uh, and traditional religion of, of, the, of the Mongolia, and so therefore it is very important to, to know about it and then to try to to learn about and then to, to, uh, to combine with our everyday life. With that, we can live a very happy life. And we hope that your holiness will visit Mongolia again soon. Petup Monastery invited all those people who were serving him during this visit to Delhi Darbar restaurant and offered delicious dishes as farewell ceremony just before his return journey to India. One has to mention that His Holiness was very happy to have Indian dishes in Mongolia. His Holiness paid 10 days visit to Mongolia. Since His Holiness spread and bestowed the very essence of Guru Sakyamuni Buddha's teachings throughout our country, it is unmeasurable his virtuous deeds by just these 10 days. 
May all sentient beings, whosoever receive blessings of Sajya Trins and Rinpoche, be accumulate extensive merits, live long and happy ever. <laughs>